The South Dakota foster care system receives a dangerous financial incentive that benefits the state when Native American children are removed from their homes. It is no coincidence that Native Americans only make up 9% of the population in South Dakota, but they make up over 50% of those in foster care. Nearly 700 Native American children in South Dakota are being removed from their homes every year. 90% of those children that are being sent to foster care in South Dakota are being placed in non-native homes or group care. However, in the Cheyenne River Lakota Nation, we have a group of Unchis who are fighting to return to our traditional ways from government-led to community-led care. We had the opportunity to speak with Lakota Law Cheyenne River organizer, Madonna Thunderhawk, who is helping lead this amazing effort. Then it will be our responsibility as community people, not just the tribal government, it will be our responsibility to make sure that we know where everybody's at at all times and what's happening with them. If we're taken from a dysfunctional home, it's not our way. It's not our, our what we do. We don't terminate perennial rights. We help that dysfunctional family. We take that young mother and we help her, you know, so that things can be restored because these children, regardless, that's their mother, that's their father, that's their grandmother. They don't care what's going on. They don't care if there's not clean sheets and, and everybody has their own room or their own bed. They don't care about that. They want to be with their people, their family. So that's from that point. We do it from our perspective, from Lakota perspective. Unchi Madonna spoke about the damage of Lakota children not being raised in the Lakota culture and the long-term effects that it has. Of course, for uh, the identity crisis that's going on anyway, without being part of the children being part of the system, but to be taken and, and plopped down in a non-native home off the reservation, I mean, to me, that is traumatizing. I mean, that is, and we all know this. But over these years, we've always, you know, well, there's got to be a program somewhere. I mean. This group of Lakota Unchis knew that more than short-term foster care was needed, but instead a true kinship-based community for these children. Asking us questions. What do you think? You know, what do you think about what Simply Smiles is doing? And in your vision, what do you see? You know, it's that type of thing. And it was just awesome. So we told him our dream our wish list. And I said, you know what we need? We need a children's village. We need some place where our, our children that are coming to the tribal court do not have to leave the reservation for foster care. We should have it right here on our reservation. But we need more than that than foster care. We need a children's village for those uh, siblings, for example, who have a place to go where they can stay together. But not only that, uh, we don't, we don't, we want, we want kinship parents. We want it to be a children's village where it's their home. If they wish, it would be their home. So they don't age out. They can go on to school. They can go on as young adults, but they always have a home. So that was like, we thought, oh, man, this is, you know, <laughs> dream on, you know, <laughs> but he, they asked. So we told them, you know, that, and these Young non-native people sat down with us and said, all right, here's what we want to partner with you. And so the result is three, four years later, we have three homes built. We have a young native family that's they're getting certified as, as kinship parents, foster parents, um, and another young woman that's coming on. And these each home will can house six children plus the 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 uh, kinship parents. So it's just amazing that that this is actually happening, you know. This group of Unchis is not content with just the community, but they are now gathering support to petition the tribe to create a Department of Child Welfare in Cheyenne River Territory. It will be a full service initiative that will serve the many needs of the Lakota family. Need a, um, we need a, a department of child welfare. We need our own tribal department. 
not just for foster care, not just for the court system, but a, a multi-service center for child welfare related issues, where there's support for the grandparents that are raising grandkids, where there's support for, for, the, for the young parents or the, or the single parent. Those types of things that aren't covered. Right now, everybody has to, when something happens, they have to run all over, you know, Eagle Butte trying to, you know, to different programs, this office, that office. It's just a run around right now. So that's, that's our, our, our uh, long range goal. So right now we're, Children's Village is moving right along, you know, we're, we're, we're happy about that. Um, but in the meantime, we're, we're doing a survey a short one-page survey on our people. You don't have to sign it if you don't want to. You can date it. That will be good. Uh, but we need your input in those different questions. Do you know how many grandparents in your community are raising grandchildren? You know, questions like that. But the main question on there is, do you think the tribe should have their own child welfare department? So with those, uh, that survey, we're going to petition the, tribal council to to have a uh, um, reservation wide survey uh, reservation wide hearing now this comes from the community this is what various grandmothers wanted because nobody ha has any place to go now to tell their story what happened to them or what happened to their grandkids they don't have a sounding board so we need a forum so we just past month uh, we had our council meeting at the beginning of April we went in and uh, met with the council and they uh, they said, sure, we're, we're willing to work with you. So the tribal chairman's office will work directly with us putting together a, a hearing, a reservation-wide hearing. Despite the enormous amount of success that this team of Unchis has accomplished, there is still plenty to be done. Please visit LakotaLaw.org and find out how you can partner with us for real change.